Right YouTube, well I'm going to video this upside down and hopefully it turns out okay. But I um, ordered a folding solar panel um, last week from China off eBay and expected it to take quite a while to turn up or get lost. You know, I took a chance and it turned up four days later, which is strange because so many things I've bought online from the UK have turned out to come from China and they get lost, you know, or the blatantly fake, fake line out on the advert. So moving on, because I'm quite impressed with it so far. I've had it out, I had a little play of it. Um, I won't put a link up for the description because there's so many on there. Um, it's 12 volt, five volt, 12 watts, sorry, 12 watts, five volt folding solar panel from China and they're all over eBay. Pay just, just under 25 pound for it. And uh, as soon as I opened it up on top with these two carabiners in their own little CD bag, you know, and they're quite decent, robust, Nice little carabiners. Um, I already carry about 10, so I won't be adding them to my kit. Um, but yeah, 12 watt divided by 5 volts gives you 2.4 amps. You normally lose a little bit, but in there it says 2 amps, and on here it says 1.5 amps. Um, so yeah, whole thing's a bit confusing. So we roughly know the voltage and ampage. The main thing is, I opened it up earlier uh, on the sofa by the window on a cloudy day. Started charging my phone, plugged the USB light into it, and that worked too. So I'm not going to complain. Um, look at that canvassing material around it. It says waterproof all over the advert and the instructions. But it, definitely not waterproof. Um, water resistant, good chance. Now I'll start by opening it up and looking straight on the back. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little ringlets to attach it to. Uh, a tree, lamppost, roof of the car, naked girl, however you want to hang it up and whatever you want to hang it up on to charge your devices. Um, six by nine panels, there's three of them. When you fold it up, the whole thing is an inch thick. See, my thumb's an inch and a half. If you're a carpenter in the trade, you know how much you will make, uh, measure and stuff. But yeah, it's an inch and a half, my thumb. So that's an inch thick folded down. Uh, in the end, there's your pocket with your two sockets. It also came with a, a mini USB, micro USB lead, which is great because all the devices I want to use from this, you know, take that lead. So there's two sockets in there. Um, I'm going to put my five point something amp battery bank in there. And then I can charge the battery bank from the day and charge my phone. And then at night, run everything from the battery bank. Um, but yeah, quite impressed by it. Not bad for what it is, 12 watts, 5 amps, seems to be quite robust, but what I did like, I didn't notice, is it's padded on the back. Every single section has got a bit of padding. It's all soft. So yeah, well constructed. I mean, these things have got a bad name. It might fall apart on me, but uh, again, if it does fall apart on me, I'll let you know. But yeah, I seem to be quite impressed by it at the moment. Um, but that's it. That's my little... Um, Folding panel for sort of wild camping, camping, um, days out with the radio, anything sort of rainnet related. If I'm out for the day with rainnet, it just saves me um, taking a strain from the batteries I use for radios um, to charge devices like my tablet or phone on my Wi Fi dongle. Um, so, freeing up more power for radios and so on. You know, if we look at it as a radio sort of thing, but for camping, that's going to be perfect too. Right, well that's my video, that's my update, new panel for the kit, it's going to live in my, um, well I would say it's going to live in my bug out bag, my camping bag, but I'm probably going to use it quite a lot, um, but yeah, right, take care, thanks for watching, stay safe.